a lovely world. So I was discussing with some thing, some things with some friends of mine, and he gave the the person that I the the group of people that I talked to mostly guys uh, made me realize something that I should have realized a long time ago, and I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. Look, I know. A disclaimer: I know dating apps are, you know, great for some pe- some individuals, and not so great. Sorry about that noise. So, not so great with other users that use dating apps like Tinder or Bumble or, you know, whatever app that's out there that's a dating app. Uh, it's just, it's just I've used dating apps in the past. I've tried. I've I really have tried. And sometimes, and for the most part, it has never worked out for me fully. And there's nothing wrong with dating apps. I just want to make that perfectly clear with you guys. That you do whatever you want to do. If you want to use dating apps and, you know, do virtual dates and stuff like that, that's great. You do whatever you want to do. But for me, and for, you know, some other humans out there who, you know, are part of, you know, the dating world, if you're still single, I'm not saying you have to be, you know, single or in a relationship or anything like that, but for me personally, and I don't, I know you guys are all going to judge me for saying this, I prefer if I were to ever get in a relationship to meet her in person, not on, off, off, on, online what what dating apps are it's a basically an online service to to get to to interact with women or men or whatever you want to whoever you want to date but for me i don't i prefer to see the person face to face instead of just looking at them on a screen or on any screen it could be a laptop screen it could be a phone screen it could be a tablet screen it could be a computer screen, you know, it could be any kind of screen. It, heck, it could even be on a, you know, for some reason, a TV screen. You know, you do whatever you want to do in the dating world, but for me, and for me alone, I prefer to actually interact with a woman in person other, and not on, on an online service of sorts. A dating service, if you will. I know a lot of you love, you know, Tinder and Bumble and all of these other dating apps that are out there for, and even Grinder if you're gay or lesbian or whatever. That's perfectly fine for you. For me, it's it's different. I like to to. I'm a visual person. I like to use my eyes instead of. I mean, use my eyes face to face instead of using my eyes to look down at a screen to find the perfect girl for me or a perfect woman. And trust me when I say this, there is no perfect person in this world. I'm not perfect. You know, she may not be perfect. And and whoever you decide to date, whether it's, you know, looking through a dating app or looking at a looking going to a bar or going to a restaurant or going to a movie theater or you know, going to a clothing store place or going to Costco or anything like that, that's that's fine. I that's what I would prefer. You know, I'm not just saying Costco. It could be a grocery store as well. It could be, you know, a a a mall of sorts. It could be it could be anything really. It could be yeah, like anything at all. It could be even a trampoline park. It could be, you know, a theme park. It could be, it could be uh, the Smithsonian or something, you know, some, some place where you can physically meet the person and interact in. It could be a baseball game. It could be a football game. It could be a basketball game. It could be, you know, anything in the world that you want to do with this person, do it. It could be going on a hike to, to, you know, to... The Grand, not the Grand, the Hoover Dam, or it could be, you know, it could be anywhere in the world that you want to, you want to go that you would love to take her or him or whatever it is. I just, I just personally don't prefer dating, 
dating apps because that's not that's not real. I I know I, I'm I shouldn't be saying what's realistic and what's not realistic, but for me personally, and I know what I said in yesterday's video. I know I know I was being a little delusional and not thinking straight. And, and I mean I've I've made mistakes. I've and I and all the other stuff about making mistakes and stuff like that. That was that was real stuff. And I shouldn't have I shouldn't be living in the past. I know I said that in yesterday's video. I should be living in the present and now. And that's what this video is about. It's about, you know, interacting with someone not just via text message, not just via Facebook Messenger, not just via uh Instagram direct message or you know Twitch or anything like that. It should be interaction with someone in person, not behind a screen. Because you don't know what th what that person who that person really is. It could be some 50 year old dude living in his mom's basement or, or, you know, a three, a 300 pound guy. It could, you don't know until you actually meet that person. So what I guess what I'm trying to say is that go out there, not right now, not until it's safe to go out there, but when it's safe to go out there, go to a bar. Go to a nightclub or some sort of a club or go to a different city. It could be Washington, D.C. It could be, you know, Orlando, Florida. It could be, you know, Anaheim, California. It could be, you know, somewhere that's not, you know, the norm where you... I know everything is digitalized and, you know, everything is, you know on a computer or on a phone or things like that. But for me, and I know this this sounds like I'm changing and being a better person. This is what I want to do. I want to meet that woman face to face, not through a computer screen, not through a phone, not through any kind of, you know, tablet or TV screen or anything like that. I want to actually meet them in person because that's what's important to me is that I meet her in person not via a dating app not via Facebook a uh, friend or anything like that the most important thing for me is that I get to see what she looks like in from face to face and not just a poster or like I said, a screen or anything like that. It has to be face to face for me. So I can see how she looks. And it's not all about looks. Let me be perfectly clear about that. It's, it's, you know, it's so much more than that. It's about personality. It's about getting along with someone. And ha sharing the same interests. And the, it's the exact same hobbies as you do. That's what's important to me. And I know it sounds like I've grown up in a day, but I haven't. I've been, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I just don't know how to do it yet. And I'm working up to that. That's what's important. That's the most important thing in my life is that when I meet her and she meets me, it's that instant connection. It's that, you know, we got to see each other in real in the real in real life not through some through some screen that you have whether it's like i said it's a phone or it's a tablet or it's a laptop or it's you know it's on the tv you want to be there in person that's the most like i said that's the most important thing for me is that i get to meet her in person Wherever in, wherever in the United States she may be, or she could be internationally, I don't really know. But what I do know is that I want to meet her face to face. Whether it's going to one of my favorite bars and meeting her. Whether it's, you know, going to a restaurant and seeing her as a waitress or as a host or as a bartender or as, you know, anything. She could be a clerk at a grocery store. She could be, 
a cash register or a, um, a bagger at a grocery store. She could be working at the register at a clothing store. She could be, you know, she could be anywhere is basically what I'm saying. And I know it's a she because I am 100, I am the straightest guy you will ever meet. There is nothing and no guy that will ever change that. Ever. In this lifetime, for sure this lifetime. And I know I've referred to lifetimes like they're, you know, willy-nilly and stuff like that. But I do know that I will have a next life. I know that 100%. Or maybe even more than 100%. I know I will have another life. And I hope that next life is I'm a woman. But this life right now, I'm a man. And I love women. Every single day since I knew, I started, you know, seeing women, I knew that I had to, and not had, that I was straight. Or that I, not I was, that I am straight. And, like I said, no guy will ever change that for me. I may have made a hiccup when I said was. I didn't mean to say was. I meant to say is. So, don't get that misinterpreted or misconstrued. I love women. I always have. I always will. From now until the day I die at the age of 90, I will always love women. I, that's the, that's the most important thing you should take away from this. Anyways, I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. Y'all know the drill. Keep real. And I will, and have an amazing birthday, whatever age you're celebrating this year. And just be you. Bye-bye.